All right, welcome back to Kid Hopeful uh, Gaming Video. Here uh, again, we're continuing our upgrade of the Aurora R4. Now, if you need to see our uh, Corsair H80i V2 install guide, the guide does a really good job of telling you how to install it, but you got to re read really close on the instructions. Um, and we don't know what the hell we're doing, so we're going to just give it a shot. Now, um, Give Piper a cameo there. I know everybody loves dogs. Let them see her. Let them see her baby Piper. There's our buddy Piper. And he grunts when you pet him. He's cute. Piper. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes grunting. Okay. Lay down. Lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down. All right. So while he's getting some water, and before he gets too much dog slobber on me, we're going to get started here. Now again, if you need to see the unboxing video, then, then go by all means go watch that. Now, uh, if you would, Munchie, zoom down in here. Uh, this is, if you, guys, this is for the Aurora R4 Alienware computer. If you have the Aurora R4, you have an LGA 2011 uh, socket. That's really important because... If you have the 2011 socket, you do not need the back plate. So give me a shot of the back plate. The back plate, you don't need to mount that down onto the socket. Instead, what you need to do is use the appropriate screws, offset screws for the 2011. And I don't know how well you can see those, but these are the only ones in the box that have the the one end that's fatter but also much shorter than the other end and that's because your sockets down here are larger sized threaded screws openings and you just want to snug these down using the fat end so once you might try to come down on the top a little bit more no 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 I mean up but over a little bit more there you go so there's four large holes here that are threaded that fit these offsets nicely. Now, if you use the wrong mounting hardware, you could potentially uh, damage your, your setup here. So make sure you're looking at your socket type. If you don't have the Aurora R4, they give you several different types of uh, mounting brackets for AMD and Intel with this kit. Uh, also different sized uh, offset screws, but this is for the Aurora R4 folks um, Because if you're like me you were looking for an install video on this and none of them had anything to do with Alienware For the most part. I think one guy out there had an Aurora R4 video, but again, he didn't explain this part at least as I recall so I had to do a little more digging and research on that Now that we've got that done um, we're gonna want to install our fans onto our one of our fans onto our radiator using the long screws so uh, I'm going to do that now um, might be over explaining this a little but you want to figure out which way you want the air to blow for your fans now if you look at the I don't, don't zoom in on the book here exactly but if you look at the book it has you install it with the uh, bladed sail blades up so so to speak um, again you got to figure out how you want directionally the air to to come and go from your system so depends on how you want the air to uh, move but that's the way the book tells you to install it and then um, they have the rear fan set up the same way so um, once you hang tight while I grab the screwdriver Okay, so we're going to mount the first fan. Now, this is going to be a long video. We, we don't have this all coordinated, and we're not going to do a whole ton of editing and stuff. So we will cut out some of the less uh, valuable parts. I guess we will have to edit a little bit. Um, again, because we didn't, we didn't prepare for this very well. Um, the fan, as you go to put it on the radiator, I would highly recommend with the Aurora case that you don't use the... The washers because you're gonna you're gonna run out of screw length here. Um, the cable for the fan power I've got it pointing down, so it's 
uh, give me the most cable length to manage because um, that'll be aiming down at the pump. These power cables, I'll tell you here in a minute how everything plugs in. It's a little confusing if you've never messed with the Corsair stuff before. And even then it was a little confusing for me. Um, anytime you're dealing with screws, guys, I would, I mean, and this comes from any anything that you're doing, whether it's working around your house or whatever, I would always try to hand thread first and get them started because you're less likely to strip the screws, um, the holes that they go into. It's real easy with power screwdrivers and stuff to strip screw holes out. So especially for you kids at home that might not have a dad supervising you or whatever, again, proceed with caution because working on computers in general, we don't exactly know what we're doing. Now you could you could probably use washers on these, um, but the uh, the one in the back because it, it's such a long run for this case. Um, I read somewhere that using the using the washers is not necessarily very helpful to ensuring you get a nice fit on the case. I like my power screwdrivers okay so we want to think about the pump and the mounting and we want to make sure that the screws are going to line up well so we're going to mount the other fan at the same time that we mount the uh, radiator so I'm going to get the other fan and screws that go through it again I want the power cable up high um, so that it gives me the most reach to the radiator itself. You're going to want to shoot in this way, buddy. So, being that I haven't pre-fit this, I want to make sure that everything's going to line up okay. If you don't have a camera in your face and you can stick your head down in the hole a little bit more, it might make it easier. So I'm just trying to feel my way through this because I don't want to get in the way of the camera too much. So you can see the screws are, I mean, they're just barely sticking out of here. So if you have the Aurora R4, you're going to have a little bit of a difficult time mounting these fans or this fan to this radiator because you're going to have very little screw to work with. And the tricky part, too, is going to be getting it in place while you're trying to get the radiator lined up with it, which is going to be pretty challenging, I have a feeling. So I think what I may do is I may just pull out these screws and do one at a time with the radiator. And I think I may start with the the uh, bottom corner here. Because again, this has to go all the way through this fan base. And um, let me get a flashlight on this here in a minute. And she and Can you shine the light down on that screw? Right there, Munchie. You can see, hopefully you can see where my finger's pointing. That screw is just ever so barely sticking its head out there. So the challenge is going to be holding everything in place with my pudgy little hands and making it work here without damaging anything. slipped out on me. 
just want to be careful and patient here. You might even get you some, um, well, I won't say that because that might cause somebody to have problems, but getting this to line up is going to be a bit of a bear, I think. And we, I just realized we've got a problem. We've got a power cable here that is going to be somewhat in our way, and it is a cable that needs to stay in its hole, so we might have an issue here. So anyway, you run the screws through the fan, mount it to the radiator here, get that in place. Um, then you can get your CPU cooler in place, which we'll, we'll, um, we'll pan out here for now. I'm going to go ahead and mount this fan because I have a feeling this is going to take a little while to wiggle it in the spot. But um, once we get the fan mounted to the radiator, we'll cut back to the video here uh, and pick back up where we left off because I think you get the idea. All right, so now we're going to take the plastic cap off of the... So I've got my fan cables up here high out of the way. Got them routed the same way. We did manage to get the fan uh, attached to the back. I ended up using the top corner screw first. That ended up being a little bit easier. Um, now we've got to get the... Um, pump here to mount down on the... CPU. And I'm just trying to figure out how I want the cables to route where I need them to be. So we want to line this up nicely with the. And the nice thing is, is the Intel mounting bracket comes pre pre mounted, so that's really nice. All right, so we've got it down on there. We're going to use the. Um, tighteners that come with it. Again, guys, I'm grounded here, so can't stress that enough to you, especially at this point down here, putting pressure on the motherboard and touching it and stuff. And um, move out of the way for a second. Let me see if I can get a little more light over here for us. You can come around on the other side. Try to get a little more light in there so you can see these uh, brackets going in and the tighteners going on. It's kind of a tight place for your hand. So you just got to find a way to get your hand in there to preferably not drop these down on the motherboard if possible. It's a little, a little challenging. This is a tight case. The next uh, one I do, I'm going to do my own. So I've got a case that's got plenty of room. I don't care how big it's got to be. Again, really good idea to start these by hand. And the pump's going to try to raise up on you because of the pressure from the cable. So I might not have wanted to tighten that one down so much yet. So there you can learn from my mistake. Don't tighten it down too much till you get all four of them on. That way you can continue to adjust a little bit as needed. Because there is a lot of pressure on this thing. Mainly from the plumbing from the pump. I did just what I didn't want to do, which is drop this down on the motherboard. Never a good thing. But I don't think we did any significant damage. Really tough to get this tightener on here. Okay, I got that one on. I got this one on. Oh, and if you're wondering about, great. 
If you're wondering about the uh, thermal adhesive, it's already pre-applied with these new pumps from Corsair. So just so you know, I forgot to mention that it was already on there, I think. I think I mentioned it in the unboxing. But this is going to be the tightest one at all. I'm going to have to come around the other way a little bit. All right, so before I finish that, let me go on and just uh, explain the rest of what we're going to do, and we'll finish up here. So the two, because uh, you don't even see me tighten down the pump, the two fan cables plug into, and this is really nice that they did this for us. So you've got a, a power cable from the pump. If you've got the Aurora R4, it plugs in nicely here to the CPU fan uh, power cable. It's a four-prong plug. This is only three prong, but even the diagram in the book shows you that if you take the little U-shape um, bracket and turn it out towards the plastic catch, it slides up in there nicely. So that's where your, your um, three prong power cable plug goes. Then you got a couple more cables coming off of the pump and they're for the fans. So the fan cables each go into these two plugs. Um, I thought it was kind of strange that the Fan power cables are both uh, four wire, and one of these uh, connectors is four wire, but the other one's only got three prongs and three wires, so I'm not sure how that uh, devises out, but I'm sure it has something to do with the fact that it eventually runs through this four cables through the second adapter. The last cable you got is a USB adapter. Right down behind your graphics card, there is a, uh, a plug-in that is labeled for your USB connections and you may or may not have one open still. I have a USB 3 USB three that's still available so I'm gonna plug that right down in there. Guys, once that's done, that's it. We'll um, go upstairs, load a video driver, and load the Corsair software for the management utility, for the pump and so forth, and we're good to go. Just make sure you get this USB cable connected um, so that it can manage the, the pump through the, the Corsair link software otherwise that's it so we're just going to tighten down the pump we're going to hook in those cables right where i told you and um, that should uh, help you out that's really was the most challenging part for us was making sure the cableology cableology was uh, correct for the aurora r4 and that the mounting would work uh, thanks again so much for watching us make fools for ourselves and we'll do a little video to show you the computer up and running and that we didn't hopefully blow anything up. And uh, thanks again. We'll see you next time.